marijuana, but he's not green. What color is he? Orange and black. That's right. Now this is a male iguana, and we can tell because he's orange. All the girl iguanas are greenish gray. Most of the males are greenish gray, so this one here is what we call a premier specimen. And his name is Igzilla. Say hi, Igzilla. Hi, Igzilla. Now some of you have noticed that he's ripping me with his tail. That is a defense, like we talked about with the other animal, except he has a really long tail. And watch what happens when I help him with the tail. You hear that? Yeah, it really hurts. Now, I want you to notice, on his back, he's got these triangle spines. So everyone hold your thumb up and look at your fingernail. Your fingernail was made of something called chitin. Can you say that? Chitin. And so are the spines on his back. And they grow like fingernails. He also has toenails that are really sharp, like a cat's claws. And so I have to hold them special, sometimes like this in order to keep his front feet from getting onto my skin and pushing. Otherwise, he'll rake me open like knives and daggers. And it'll take two months to heal. Does it change colors? This one, Ooh, did you see he had his mouth open? He was, that's called gaping. Gaping is a posture when he's trying to show how powerful he is. Also, this flap of skin underneath his mouth is called a dewlap. Can you say that? Dewlap. And the dewlap is on a bone and a muscle, and he can put it back when he's calm, or he can flare it out when he wants to communicate. Now, right now, he's communicating to me that he's a big, powerful lizard. And the reason he's doing that is because he is not higher in the air than me. If I were to hold him up here, in the lizard language, he would be the most powerful lizard in the room. He'd be king, and he could calm down. But his eye is below my eye when I hold him comfortably, so now he's inferior to me instead of being superior. And that way he feels a little bit uh, anxious, and so he flares <coughs> out. Look, oh, he's got his sharp teeth going. But he doesn't eat meat. He likes to eat vegetables and leaves and fruits and flowers. So he's primarily a vegetarian when he's older. Now I want to tell you something neat about his tail. Wherever you see a stripe on his tail, he can let it fall off and he can grow a new one. Yeah, so if I was a wild animal like a cougar or a puma, and I caught him by the tail, and I was eating him up, he could say, tail fall off, I want to run away. And the tail would go, bloop, fall off like it was chopped off with a cleaver. And the scales, the skin, the muscles, and the bone will all separate clean. With only one drop of blood will come out where the bone separates. The last thing I'm going to tell you about him is that he has three eyes on top of his head. He has two that you can see, and he's looking at you with, and he has a third eye on top of here. And I'm going to point to it, stay down. It's small and clear and shaped like a teardrop. And it is called a light sensor. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down.